Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press, here in Foley Square, today, Monday, December 4th, 2023. We're covering the cases, and uh, I was going to film this over by the MCC, the now empty jail, because there's a trial that's been going on in the building behind me, Forty Foley. It's uh, U.S. versus Ellison at uh, all. It, it has to do with bribes paid within the MCC before it was closed down after the death of Jeffrey Epstein. And... Um, it's very detailed, you know, the, most of the t witnesses are cooperators that were in there as well, where they held, held, hid their surreptitious cell phone and K2 and shanks. But it contrasts to a case that's going to be heard this week up in the District of Massachusetts in Boston, in which former BOP employee Tisde Tis Tidwell uh, will be sentenced for having taken bribes for a uh, good treatment of a hyper net worth prisoner in Devons, the federal medical facility. That prisoner was Raj Rajaratnan um, of Galleon, a, a high profile defendant. And he hasn't been charged for paying bribes, which is interesting because Ellison is. So there's a difference between districts, just as, and we could imagine how SBF, when he's sentenced, will uh, try to pu pull a Raj perhaps, but there's a difference because. To the SDNY's credit, Raj Rajaratna, uh, uh, SBF's uh, surrogates were unsealed by Judge Kaplan, but CZ's out in Washington still haven't been unsealed. They still haven't decided on whether he can go to the UAE, but what they have seemingly decided on is that his surrogates can be sealed. And that's a, that's a real shame. Uh, there's some other things going on. In other crypto news, in Utah, there was a decision by a district judge um, in the District of Utah in, in U.S. versus SEC versus Deadbox that SEC had... Um, misled the court about debt box trying to move money to the UAE. It'll be interesting to see how that one plays out. Also here, a former police officer named Mestre is set to plead guilty on December 7th to helping a uh, murder, murder convictee get away with it. But at the United Nations, here we have to say, China tore down, a Chinese diplomat tore down a poster of Tiananmen Square, and the UN's response was to simply move it over as if it had never happened, in the same way that they removed inner city press and won't respond to its entreaties, but we will not cease. Inner City Press, to be continued.